Hello and welcome to a another Let's Play with me, Pokemon on this side. I've just been doing some AFK and over here at the uh, old mob barn. I'm running on rockets, so I just need the gunpowder. Um, but in today's episode, we are going to be building our grass and mycelium farm over here in the industrial district. Um, so I've already chosen. Oh, I forgot on there. Um, I've already chose a, a location for this. Um, so I'll go all the way over here. Do a one rocket. Not this side. This side of the path that so I'm going to be uh, building it right on the edge here. Um, I'm going to be building it over uh, this area, going all the way back. Because as you can see, you get cows spawning here. I don't particularly want the cows spawn, um, cows mushrooms spawning over at the um, um, leather farm over there. So, first things first, I'm going to start marking out where I need to build this because it's I'm going to do a two floor design. So, you can have uh, grass and bottom, mycelium on top because mycelium you're going to more than likely use less. You can have if you're building, you can have whichever way around you want. Um, so let's get on with uh, placing a few blocks down. There we go. So, what a thing over in my ender chest. It's like to get more and more organised these days. So what you are going to need for this farm is you are going to need a minimum of one grass block, one mycelium block, and then the rest in dirt, depending on how big you want to make the farm. You will need a silk touch shovel to harvest the farm. Everything out, any other shovel or any other tools will harvest dirt. Uh, and then you're going to need your building blocks and marker blocks, whatever you use. So I'm going to use some jungle wood just to work out the base first of all. So I'll turn all these into normal planks. Here's what I did. Start it a little way back from the path and then go. I'm going to do a 16 by 16 area of dirt. I'm going to do it here. I'm going to do one down so you only go by one when you do the uh, farm. There we go. So I need to set this down to 48 because that'll be 16. And then clear everything above. Don't really want to do a 32 by 32 because that'll be. No, I'm doing 16 by 16. Like 16 by 16 will give you four stacks. 32 by 32 will give you 16 stacks. Yeah, let's do a 32 by 32. Because you want to have a fairly good amount. So if I take this down to 32 instead, then. I'm getting some stuff back. Yeah, that's going to be quite a huge farm. I might have to go back for more resources. It's bigger than initially planned, but this is an industrial district. So, what else do I expect? Oh, almost there. Oh, why did I do that? Right. I had it perfectly lined up, didn't I? So it's just another two blocks. So I'm look at how much I've got to clear. Yeah, as I thought, it's not too bad because it's mainly going to be dirt. And I need to set this down to one because we've already got one in there. Don't need much lighting than other for you guys. A little bit of light in here. I haven't really sorted out the light yet for the earth farm. Okay. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on filling this out uh, and building it up, uh, filling it out, flattening it out, and then show you how the um, when it's all done. So I will be back shortly, guys. And I'm back. So I've gone ahead and underneath for this, there is just uh, jungle planks. There's no connecting blocks between the outside. Um, I've filled it all in with dirt. And so the next thing to do, you've got a couple of options here. You can either start building the second layer up or you can uh, place in a couple of blocks. So like I said, this is going to be a grass layer. So once you've gone ahead, you've built the surroundings up, you can then start sort of, you only really need one grass block to do this. But the more you have, the quicker it will spread. And you'll see, if I remember, grass spreads slower than, if I remember, it spreads slower than mycelium. I'm pretty sure grass has another property if i can do i have any in here? Nope. Nope. I'll show you the other property of grass what you can do there you go some fish here that'll do me do i get any there he is what i wanted and, uh, so short it works with grass let's give it a go so yeah, you can see it's already spreading. So if I remember, it's, if say you go there, oh, there you go. Spread it using bone mill. No, you can't. I thought you could. Oh. Okay, I'm just getting random junk then. Let's learn something new. Java. I believe in Java edition it actually works to spread the grass. It could be uh, completely wrong. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and build up to the second layer. And um, how am I going to do this? Let's put the roof in first. We're doing that. How about I put the another jungle in? I still have more jungle than that. There we go. So what I'm just going to do first of all is I'm just going to build around the outside a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to put stairs on top of all of these. What do I do? Oh, I'm just going to half slab it. Uh, build up so you've got a bit of a walkway down the outside. I know you kind of don't need it for grass. But it's just for aesthetics. Right now I'm just going to put a wall in actually. That would be better. As you can tell, I'm doing this on, on the fly, so let's put the wall in first. And at the end of the day, I'm going to have storage here, and then a couple of shoots, one going up, one going down. So let's uh, put the wall in, build up the walls, and then get on to starting the um, second level, which is going to be the my mycelium level. Oh, I've done my usual, haven't I? That will be never... Brick, what a numpty. Okay, right. Let's go ahead and in fact, no, I can't do that now. I can just solve it and bricks going into it. So let's get on with this, and I will be back shortly once I've uh, got up to the second level. And I'm back. So I went ahead and built up the first platform and the second one. Um, so, yep, yeah, this farm is pretty much done almost so sorry about the uh, rain I've just got to do some finishing touches around so I've got the entrance here just need to put the door in this is the first level as you can see the grass is all spread out got lighting in keeping in theme with the never brick and stone brick uses I've got a drop elevator down that side and a bubble elevator this side to go up Got the second level in. This is what it looks like without anything in here. Um, I've done two. So obviously I've got the never brick below that, and then jungle planks on top because 
I'm a bit hesitant with the uh, shovels and that's the drop elevator shovel and the sea lanterns purely because with the sea lanterns uh, that actually break quicker than I was expecting with a uh, glass so shove these in and then all you do is just fill up the rest with dirt and that should start spreading fairly rapidly um, that does it in a emission biome, normally oh, spreads quite quick. Grass doesn't spread that quick. So it's just a case of filling this in with dirt. This takes a few minutes to do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some chests at the end there just to store a few bits in. Uh, they're going to have to be chests because of the um, uh, village uh, purification that I will end up doing. I don't want them linking to barrels, creating more fishermen. I've got the uh, fish farm as it is for that. So, yeah, I'm going to get on, fill this in, put some barrels, and then I will call it here. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment as well if you're enjoying the content. Um, don't forget to check out my if you do want to support the channel, you can always head over onto my Patreon and add a donation there. If you wish, that is entirely up to yourself. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.